Let's dive right into some of the brackets, and we want to start with two of the teams that are located out on the West Coast. One of them is one of the hotter teams you might not know about, but we're going to find out about them here as I bring in another one of our teammates, and that's John Schaefer joining us there from the West Coast. John, good morning. It's great to see you, and let's talk some basketball and dive in with one of the teams that if you haven't paid attention to the Aztecs of San Diego State, um, they didn't just get hot, John, in the last week or two. This is a team that's been riding a streak for the better part of two months. Why don't you fill us in on the Aztecs from San Diego State? Victor, you're 100% right. San Diego State has really been hot for the last two years. They're 53-6 and six since the start of the 2019 season. They've won 14 consecutive games. They are senior-laden. They're led by Matt Mitchell, who's the Mountain West Player of the Year, and Jordan Shackle, a fellow senior as well. And this team can score. And they can defend the basketball as well. There's a top 10 defensive unit in the country. San Diego State, I think, is primed to make a tournament run. They don't see a lot of zone. They'll see it, obviously, from Syracuse with that matchup zone. But San Diego State can score. And they're just a winning basketball team going, uh, again, 23-4 and four this year and winning 14 consecutive games. Yeah, you talked about their record over the last couple of years, but 14 straight heading into this postseason tournament. They draw the sixth seed out of the Midwest. As you mentioned, they will take on Syracuse. And a lot of people looking at that potential second-round matchup with number three West Virginia and what that could mean with San Diego State facing the Mountaineers should those two teams advance as we take a look at the bracket here. Six and 11, San Diego State, West Virginia, they're the three seed. They will take on Moorhead State. They come in as the 14 seed. Another team that is located out on the West Coast that got a lot of attention when the brackets were drawn. You always talk about the 413 and the 512. And John, one of those first teams to be mentioned that got the 12 seed was Cal Santa Barbara. They're going to match up against Creighton as the five seed. So why did Cal Santa Barbara get so much early love when the brackets came out as the 12 seed? Well, they're a lot like San Diego State. They just win games. They're 18 and one in their last 19, and they're led by Ja'Cory McLaughlin, who is a tremendous transfer point guard from Oregon State who can score the basketball. He's better than two and a half to one assist to turnover ratio. This is a team that has gotten way better on the defensive end. Their defensive efficiency numbers last year, according to Ken Palm, 242 in the nation. This year, all the way up to 82nd in the nation. It's a team that is playing winning basketball. It also has some veteran players like McLaughlin that could carry them potentially this weekend. 